Recently, I've been shooting a little bit with the Sony PXW-Z90, the kind of small palm corder uh, solution from Sony with a great kind of autofocus. And it got me thinking. One of the main reasons that I've used an Atomos in the past to record to ProRes is because the other camera that I use, or one of the other cameras that I use, only outputs 10-bit 422 via the HDMI out. It doesn't record 10-bit on board at all. Everything on board is 8-bit uh, is 420. However, the camera, the PXW-Z90, doesn't output anything that it can't do on board. So it outputs 420 8-bit at 4K from a, uh, HDMI, and it outputs 10-bit 422 from SDI, but it also re will record that on board on the XAVCL codec. So what I was thinking is, do, do I actually need to use an external recorder anymore? Of course, being able to monitor things is fantastic, being able to see things more clearly and, uh, and just have better sort of facilities around waveforms and vector scopes and all that kind of thing is, is of course worthwhile. But as far as quality goes, how does this look? So I'm recording this at the, at the moment, the exact same thing on the PXW-Z90 using HD 1080-50p, on 40, uh, for the 422 10-bit XAVC-L codec at 50 megabits. And I'm also recording it on the Atomos here in front of me uh, from the SDI out, so the same color depth, everything is exactly the same, except it's going to ProRes HQ. And of course, they're very different codecs, the two. One is a compression codec, which uh, it's an interframe, I think, uh, codec, so long gop, it records keyframes every so often, and then only updates the bits in between that it needs to. Of course, ProRes is a virtually lossless codec, and it records every single frame as a complete image, or at least I believe it does anyway. Uh, someone might want to correct me on that. So what I'm gonna do is just jump into the computer now and just take a look at this footage and see how it looks. And yes, I'm gonna pixel peep here. Yes, I'm gonna zoom in. Yes, I'm not gonna just take it for what it is because if you're watching this beginning bit, you might just think, well, the two look exactly the same. And well, yes, I have been flicking between the two as I've been going along. Did you notice? Well, let's have a look in DaVinci anyway and see if we can actually spot any real kind of differences by zooming in. Well, if you were thinking that you couldn't tell the difference between those two clips, I honestly can't say I blame you. These are the two clips in Premiere, I was going to say, in DaVinci. And you can see very clearly underneath the clips here, I like the way that it names them, that we have this, the Apple ProRes 422HQ, and this is the XAVC MP4 clip, so the XAVC L clip. There is a slight timing delay between them when you hit the record button. One hit, one triggers the other, but there is a delay of about three frames, and they're not timed absolutely perfectly, so I've had to line them up as best I can. So first of all, let's just take an overall look at this image. It is a slightly underexposed image, but apart from that, it's pretty much okay. The white balance is just about right, and the skin tones are good. So there's the XAVC MP4, and there's the ProRes. XAVC MP4, ProRes. I'm absolutely blown away. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, and I don't know, I just don't have a lot of faith in compressed codecs, in, you know, heavily compressed codecs that are pushing a lot of um, information into just, say, 50 megabits. But this looks outstanding. It's brilliant. I mean, there is not a single bit of discernible difference, to my eyes anyway, between that and that. They, the two look the same. And let's get in close now. I'm sure you don't particularly want to get in close to my face, but um, I'm going to do it anyway, just um, for the sake of this. And I'm at a thousand percent now, crazy percentages going on here. So let's flick between the two. There's ProRes. There's an XAVC MP4. And you can see some tiny differences there, but ignore that because they're just timing differences between the frames really more than anything else. Because even if I flick frame to frame, you know, you can see that there are just natural movements in grain and noise on the clip. So if I just reset them both back, there's uh, the XAVC and there's the ProRes. XAVC, ProRes, let's zoom out and just look at something a little bit different. Um, let's have a look at, say, I don't know, this thing on the screen here. That's as zoomed in as we can get on this screen, so it's a slightly blurred 
Uh, probably the mic actually would be good because that's actually in focus. There's the ProRes and there's the XAVC MP4. A little bit worse around those edges maybe? No, nah, not really. No, <laughs> thousand percent. I mean, for heaven's sake. Now, before anyone says anything, I know this is not a test of the codec, a true test of the codec. There's nothing going on in this image, particularly. You know, I'm fairly still. That none of this stuff here is moving, and I understand that. This is not a test. I'm not trying to test how well the codec performs under massively high motion. What I'm looking for is just differences in color and just differences in kind of the way the image is presented through one codec and what the way it's presented through the other codec. And from what I can see, it is absolutely identical. So is there any benefit to me using an external recorder? Well, with this type of footage and these type of clips, you know, these two camera clips, no, not really. The only benefit is, of course, the monitoring that you get, as I mentioned, and uh, also it's much easier to scrub through. I probably can't uh, show you too well on this because one is scrubbing from a SSD drive and one's scrubbing from a compact flash, uh, sorry, a, a, um, an SD card. So it's not really a fair comparison, but if we just sort of scrub scrub the there's, the, there's the SD, there's the SD and look at the SSD. <laughs> ProRes, much, much easier, I think, for an NLE to use still has massive benefits and of course we've all now come into ProRes RAW but I don't have a camera that can use it so it is of no benefit to me whatsoever. Really nice to see I mean I'm just absolutely blown away there is no difference between them incredible. So yeah quick test of ProRes footage out of the PXW Z90 recorded to an Atomos uh, in ProRes HQ and the XAVC MP4 onboard codec.